Find the dimensions of the rectangle of largest area that can be inscribed in a circle of radius r. So it helps to draw a picture here. I'm going to try and draw a circle, a nice circle here. Let's see if I can do it. And there you have it. It's not the greatest of circles, but it's not too bad, I don't think. So it has a radius of r. So let's go ahead and make our center here and a radius of r right here. We want to inscribe a rectangle in this of the largest area. So my rectangle may look something like this. I think my circle's better than my rectangle, but I think we get the idea. Now, normally we would just assign dimensions x and y to this thing, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to put the center of this circle right on the origin in my Cartesian coordinate system. And so that way I can see that from that point 0, 0 to the right is going to be my x value. And so let's call that x. That's going to be this distance here. And then y will be the distance up. And so we'll call this distance right here y. And the reason I did that is because it's going to make it easy to get a relationship between x and y. And of course, we're going to need that if we want to maximize the area. Now, what are we trying to maximize again? Well, we want to maximize area, which is, we'll call it a. And what's that going to be? Well, the width, or actually the length we could call it, which is x and another x. So it's going to be actually 2x times the width or the height of this rectangle, which is y and another y. So that's 2y. So 4xy is the formula for the area based on the notation that we have with our picture. Well, this is a two-variable function. And to maximize it, I want to write it as a single-variable function so that I can take the derivative and set it equal to 0. Well, there's where that relationship comes in. We can see that we have a Pythagorean theorem working for us here because we have a right triangle. And so we can use the fact that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, which tells me that I can solve for one of those variables. I'll solve for y. y is equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared. Just the positive square root because y is a positive dimension that we're trying to find. And so I can substitute that in for this y right here in my area function. And it will become just that, a function of a single variable x. 4 times x times the square root of r squared minus x squared, or 4x times r squared minus x squared to the 1 half power. And now we can go ahead and maximize this. So we're going to take a prime of x, a derivative. And we'll have to use a little bit of product rule here, since we have two functions multiplied together. So that'll be the first function, 4x, times the derivative of the second. That's going to be a chain rule, 1 half r squared minus x squared to the negative 1 half times the derivative of what's inside those parentheses, which is a negative 2x. So there's first times derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of 4x, which is just going to be 4. So 4 times r squared minus x squared to the 1 half power. Let's try and simplify this before we find our critical numbers. I'm going to factor out a 4, and I'm also going to factor out an r squared minus x squared to the negative 1 half power. Let's see what that gives me here. In this first term, I got rid of this r squared minus x squared to the negative 1 half. That's gone. I have basically a 1 half times a negative 2x. And of course, the 2's divide to 1, so I'm just left with a negative x in that term. What's left here? Well, we factored out the 4. And we're missing something in that first term. Let's go back to that for a second. Here we factored out a 4, too. Oh, we also have this x as well. That's in that first term there. So we actually have a negative x squared left in that first term. Now let's look at the second term. We factored out a 4 and an r squared minus x squared to the negative 1 half. If I take r squared minus x squared to the positive 1 half, divide it by that quantity to the negative 1 half, I subtract the exponents. 1 half minus a negative 1 half is a positive 1. So we're actually just left with an r squared minus x squared to the first here. And so this is 4 times, we'll put this negative 1 half exponent in the bottom as the positive square root of r squared minus x squared. And in the numerator, we're going to have a positive r squared and then minus a 2 x squared. So now we can use this to find our critical numbers. Of course, we see that our derivative is undefined when x is equal to r. But if x is equal to r, 
think about that, bring that r value down here, and let x go all the way to the edge of the circle, well then y can't be anything. We wouldn't have an area at all. We wouldn't have a rectangle. Its area would be 0. So we can't have that x is equal to r. It's not a part of our domain. We're going to have to have x be positive. And so we're going to go ahead and set a prime of x equal to 0. Now that means that the numerator is going to have to be equal to 0. And of course the only way for that to happen is if r squared minus 2x squared is equal to 0. So that means that 2x squared is going to have to be equal to r squared. And so x squared is r squared over 2. And thus x is just the positive square root of r squared over 2. Because x has to be positive. So it's a positive r over the square root of 2. Now clearly this gives a maximum value here. Just remember that when x was equal to r, if it was extended all the way out here, then we had an area of 0. And if x was equal to 0, well, then we would have an area of 0 as well. In other words, keep in mind that our x values here have to be between 0 and r. And if x is equal to 0, the area of the rectangle is 0. If x is equal to r, the area of the rectangle is 0. So our area is going to be increasing from 0 to that critical number and then decreasing as it goes back down to r. So this is going to be a maximum. This is going to give us a maximum area. Now what's the y value? Well, y is equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared by the Pythagorean theorem. That's the square root of r squared minus x squared is r squared over 2. So that's the square root of r squared over 2, which is r over the square root of 2. So x equals y, and so we are going to have, in fact, a square that gives us the maximum area. So what are the dimensions then? Well, the dimensions of the square, the rectangle, which is turns out a square, are... Well, let's see, the length of this thing was 2x. So 2x, which is 2 times r over the square root of 2, or just the square root of 2r, and 2y, which is also 2 times r over the square root of 2, or square root of 2r. So it's a square that is of dimension square root of 2r by square root of 2r. That'll give us the biggest area of a rectangle inscribed inside that circle of radius r.